Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now in today's video I'm very pleased to announce that the dogs have officially now been released for all platforms. So that's Xbox One, PS4 and PC and we can now buy them. So the first dog that you're going to get is going to be for free and every dog after that is going to be 45,000 credits. Now in this video I'm going to buy one of each of the different coat colours for the dogs purely because I wanted to show them all off in a video as I saw several people asking about it and I don't think I saw anyone actually do it. So in this video you are going to see all of the coat colours in game, like not just in the store but actually in the game. So you're going to see me buy them all and you can see which name corresponds with each coat colour and yeah you can just see everything that I've put there. Now one problem I did run into sort of about halfway through this video is when using a controller it is very hard to select which dog you actually want to be made active. I found that and it took me a little while to realise what was actually going on because to start off with I thought I'd just made a mistake and bought several of the same coat colour or that it had glitched and then I realised all I had to do was select with the mouse. So if you're going to be on console that might be something you struggle with if you buy more than one. Though I expect a lot of people are just going to choose their favourite and buy that. Which is originally what I was planning on doing. But I really wanted to just show off the coat colours for the people that were interested. So yep, this DLC is out. It cost me just over £2 British. So it's really, really cheap. It was actually on sale. So yeah, it's really worth getting. You're going to have all of the stuff for the dogs. You know, like I said, you'll get a dog for free in-game. And then the ability to purchase. I think you have a kennel of up to 25. So yeah, you've got plenty of slots for different dogs. Um... In the store, you'll see me go into the consumable section because there are dog treats you can buy now. So make sure that you go and buy your dog some dog treats. So that's really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's all of that stuff basically is going to be what's in this video. It's just looking at the coat colours and doing what I said and yeah, just looking at the dogs a bit closely. And then I'm going to be doing another video that goes through the skill and perk trees and just basically testing the tracking. And something else that came out with this update that has been sort of glossed over a little bit because, oh my god, dogs, um, is that Black Buck now have true horns. That's why you'll see me here on Parque Fernando, because I plan on going to look for Black Buck with any kind of true horns, just to show them off for, again for another video, which will be posted later. So if you're interested in that, please keep an eye out for it. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of content from me on the dogs and the, uh, the Black Buck true, true Racks over the next day or so. So, fingers crossed you'll enjoy that. Like I said, this is quite a, a slow video of me just buying the dogs and then looking at them all and looking at the coat colours. But, like I said, if you're on console, you may have a bit of a struggle with that selecting of which dog you want if you have more than one. But, like I said, it could... Well, maybe it's just my controller, but... I didn't, it didn't, my controller seems to be working fine, so I think it's just an issue with selecting it using the controller versus using the mouse. So, yeah, you'll see, like, things don't quite line up all the time when I use the controller. But I'm going to go through and I will show off each and every coat colour in this video. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that and hopefully if you're thinking about buying the DLC, this will just show you exactly which, you know, dogs you might be interested in going for and, you know, what, which, well, like I said, which ones you like. So, again, thank you very much for watching. I am sorry that there is going to be a bit of me in this video struggling to work out which dog I hadn't had and hadn't shown off because of the uh, struggle to actually select. But, um, yeah, I couldn't really... Uh, crop it out very easily so I thought I'd just leave it in there and then it does make sure that you sh you get to see each and every single dog coat colour. So these are bloodhounds, they are used for tracking for wounded animals and apparently they can also track the nearest and most, like so it's the nearest point of interest, so poop or footprints or something. Um, yeah, so they're going to be really useful, especially though on the blood, because there's a lot of interesting perks and skills that I'm going to go through in a separate video, like I said. So that's really interesting. And something also nice of notice is if you're any kind of distance away from your dog, it does get like a blue outline, so you won't ever lose them. And they do also show up on your map and I think on your hunter mate um, as like another little dot, so you can see exactly where they are. But yeah, so... 
hopefully, like I said, hopefully you enjoy watching this and just getting a good look at just at the dogs themselves, the models, the colours and everything. And like I said, this is out now to purchase on all platforms. So if you want it, go and purchase it. And hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. And yeah, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. I'll stop rambling now and just let you watch the dogs. So yeah, thank you very much.